it is with great honor that I introduce our first honoree, Richard Chavez, who has exemplified his ability to be a change agent in the community. To present Richard with our first award, we please welcome Steve LaRochelle. Richard and I have known each other for pretty close to 25 years, both as co-workers, Lowell Rotarians, and very close friends. Richard came to Lowell with his family from Ecuador when he was 14 years old, went through the Lowell school systems, the University of Lowell, and fortunately for all of us, Richard stayed in Lowell and has been working in the greater Lowell community for most of his career. Uh, Richard's first passion, without a doubt, is his family. A close second is his community, and fortunately, Richard found a vocation where he can combine both his community and his professional life by being a local community lender, working with his customers in the community, and really being an economic resource, an advisor, and a friend to his customers. Richard's been very active in numerous community organizations, the list for this, uh, including being a founding member of the Lowell Community Public Charter School, Chair of the Loan Committee for the Merrimack Valley Small Business Assistance Center. It's a great job. A member of the Lowell Portuguese Language School Board and a long-term member of Lowell Rotary Club, including frequently being Marshmallow Man at Winterfest. Uh, if you've ever been to Winterfest, you have to stop by, say hello Marshmallow Man, and has raised thousands of dollars for Rotary Scholarship Fund. Uh, in his spare time, Richard also volunteers for the Lowell High School Distinguished Alumni Committee E for All and the Salvation Army. Uh, Richard consistently and constantly gives back to the community in his understated, fun and carefree way. He, he really makes it look easy, but it's amazing the work he puts into all these things. Uh, Richard, congratulations on being recognized as a community teamwork champion of community action. Richard. Thank you. Uh, I had thought about a speech for this evening, um, but I just found something out tonight uh, that changed the whole thing a little bit. First and foremost, I read the biographies of past and present recipients, and honestly, CPI, I'm humbled that you guys picked me because. To be on this list is unbelievable. So thank you. But what I found out tonight, my family and I came here in 1983, May 7th. At 11.30 at night, we landed at JFK. And I found out tonight, from my mother, that we actually received assistance from CTI when we first got here for fuel. So thank you. And then secondly, I want to thank my employer, Enterprise Bank. Many of them are here tonight. Uh, they encourage us to get involved in the community. They encourage us to give back. They allow us the time. Um, Jack is here and a whole bunch of my co-workers, so thank you guys. That's what I've been with you for the last 25 years of my career. And I want to thank my family, my wife Rita, my son Sebastian, my daughter Daniela, because they've been patient with me. Sometimes they will miss the dinner here and there because she's involved in board meetings. And they are the backbone of what I do. They are the backbone of my life. Everything that I do, is with them in the back of my head. How is this going to negatively or positively impact them? So everything that I do is because of that. So thank you. And lastly, I am who I am because of my parents. They taught me just about everything. My parents taught me a couple of things when I was younger. One of them is that with my integrity and my education, I can go anywhere. 
And so I've been able to put my efforts into nonprofits or entities that actually educate, maybe at the level of a uh, charter school involvement, or maybe with the entrepreneurship center uh, helping and teaching people how to become independent, financially independent. And secondly, they also taught me to give back. You know, unfortunately, my dad passed away seven months ago, but my mother is here. And not only, not only did they always tell me, you need to give back a little bit of who you are, of what you know, of your knowledge. She led by example. She actually started libraries back in my home country of Ecuador. Uh, got involved in a whole bunch of kids, never looking for the limelight, never, absolutely. Quietly showing us away. Ever since I was little, I can remember that. So I am who I am today, thanks to them. And today, what I am getting, it's not me. It's for them. And if you allow me, I would like to say something to her in Spanish. Viejita. Gracias. Gracias por enseñarme la forma de hacer las cosas. Se te quiere, se te quiere de gratis. Thank you.